Greetings, friends. It's great to be with you again, and welcome to today's segment, which is all about the fascia. Fascia is the interconnective tissue that holds together our entire body. It's a sheath that is fibrous and fluid that surrounds each and every muscle, joint, and tendon in the body. So if the fascia is allowed to stay dormant, it then adheres to the muscles, preventing free range of movement. Every morning when you wake up and you feel that stiffness, all you've got to do is move your body and it releases it. So over time, our habitual patterns get set and we find that our range of movement then begins to shrink. So today we're going to move the muscles, the joints, the tendons. This is great for some of us who have had issues, maybe pre-arthritis or just stiffness anywhere in your body. We're going to use it or lose it today. So let's begin with our fascia dance now. And I want to give kudos to my friend. Her name is Mirjam. And she's the one that gave me the inspiration for this class today. Let's do it right here and right now. We're going to free the fascia. We're just going to let our body move organically. No right or wrong way here. Let's just start by lifting your heels and bouncing from the ball mounds of your feet and just shaking any of the stagnant energy out of your body that may have accumulated overnight and just letting your body go here kind of like when you're anxious and you're a little kid and you just want to just get to where you're going just let it all come and then when you feel you've had enough settle in with your feet at a nice stance place your hands at your heart take a deep breath and as you exhale feel your energy grounding and feel it settling and let's begin by shifting the weight of your body now into your right leg lifting your left heel up and begin to take some circles over your toes so you're just rounding up and over those toes in a big outward motion. And you begin to notice as you are doing this, maybe those 26 bones in your feet don't often get turned like this. It might be a little uncomfortable, but just keep circling. And when you feel like you've gotten that foot, let's shift to the other leg now as you lift your right heel up and begin to notice how not just the foot, but the ankle and the knee and the actual femur inside the hip socket now is moving your foot as our bodies everything's connected there as you notice any kind of tightness just roll through it and breathe let's take it back to the other leg weight into the right foot now and come with an internal rotation of your knee as you take it out and in rolling over the opposite direction than you did before Great job, you're doing great. Now shift it back, left foot takes the weight of your body as you spin that open and inward. Opposite direction on your right foot. Really rolling over all of those toes and getting some lubrication in your ankle, your knees, and your hip joints. Now let's come to standing position. Now we're going to the big hip circles, taking the left and then the right foot, raising your knee, and you can even use your arms here as you step one foot into the other, moving those knees up and out. There's lots of studies that know that biodynamic nonlinear movement is what keeps our muscles, our joints, everything moving all connected here. Now let's come to stillness once again. Hands over heart and sense your energy and how you're working with your energy here. Now open your eyes and start simply to rotate from the middle of the body allowing everything here to just move along in any way that feels good to you, that loosens your sacroiliac joints in the low spine, the shoulders. Let your head, neck, your hips changing direction, switching it now in the other direction. 
and enjoying just this free, non-linear movement that allows you to just explore. And then come back to stillness. Place your hands there at your heart and feel the grounded energy from the earth through your body. And now begin to spread the fingers of your left hand open as though you're making a sign of infinity with your wide spread fingers. Now rolling these fingers as you move the hand up and back and feel the tension in the fingers and the fascia between them moving and then really start to move your whole elbow, your shoulder, your whole body in this infinity figure eight pattern. Get out of your own way and just move. When you find that perfect place and you feel as though it's enough, come with both hands to your center and then spread your hands out. Keep your palms flexed as you stretch, pushing, pushing out. Squeeze all the muscles in your body, even in your face. Squeeze it. Keep breathing. And then exhale, lower the hands down, roll the shoulders up and down the back. Let's start the other side. First, the fingers. And take as much time here, just flipping and moving the fingers as you move your palm, your wrist, your elbow, and noticing how this movement is very different from your time spent texting, your emailing, anything that we do. Repetitive motion, we're breaking it now doesn't have to look a certain way. Just let your body move. Close your eyes and let your body tell you where to go. Enjoy. And then coming back to center, hands placed at the heart. Exhale, let your hands press out to the sides. Draw the shoulder blades back and down. Press the palms out, spread the fingers, spread the toes. Maybe even lift the toes, squeeze all the muscles in your body. And then lower your hands, take a roll of your shoulders up and back. Beautiful. Now shoulders pressing down, shoulder blades pulling back. Allow your head to fall, chin to your chest. And then find your own pattern in your own rhythm, releasing your neck in circles, letting your shoulders move with you, your upper body just finding that space to one side and then taking it to the other side. A few circles in one direction and then the other. Take your time, letting the breath guide your movement. And the next time your chin is at your chest, pause. Allow yourself to be still and placing your hands at your heart once again to feel grounded and send some gratitude to your beautiful and perfect body. No matter the shape, the imperfections, the qualities, and just acknowledging the essence of our perfection in our imperfections. Now open your eyes, release your arms, reach up, big inhale, swoop the arms up, fingers tap, Draw your hands to your heart. Inhale once again, arms overhead, fingers touch. This time interlace them, press the palms to the sky and let's exhale to the left. Stretch it out, press into your right foot and then inhale back to center and exhale to the right. 
Feel the length through the spine, inhaling back to center. Exhaling, stretching the fascia of the intercostal ribs, taking it to the other side now. Inhale back to center and take a deep inhale. Interlace the fingers, yoga mudra hands. As you exhale, take a back bend, pressing the hips forward as you lean your head and shoulders back. Bow forward into a forward fold, let it go. Feel your hips gently release as you clasp your elbows and sway. And just breathe as you relax your head. Releasing the hands, let the arms just float around. Ragdoll. And now bend the knees. Roll all the way up to upward salute. Arms swooping overhead, fingers touch. And then bring your hands to your heart. Inhale the arms up once again. Interlace the hands just like before. Take a lateral bend to your left. And then back to center. And then find the space in the rib cage on the left side of your body. Come back to center. And then switch your fingers so that your index fingers are pointed up. And then reach up. Stretch back to an open hearted back bend. And press the feet down as you come forward. And bow. Head down towards the earth. Seat up towards the sky. And just sway here as you relax and let gravity take you over your legs. Now interlacing the fingers again behind you. Index fingers pointed straight up, straight arms. Draw your hands forward towards the top of your head. And open up the shoulders and the fascia there in the shoulder joints. Shaking your head no and yes. Releasing the fascia in the neck. Release your hands down, bend your knees, sink your seat to your heels, and then stretch your arms out on your fingertips and begin to rock back and forth across the ball mounds of the feet, stretching through the ankles, the arches, the Achilles, and getting into all of the muscles, tendons, joints of the ankles and feet. Now settle yourself back onto your heels Toes out, heels come in. As you open up your knees into a tippy-toe malasana squat, you can come down onto flat feet if that's comfortable for you. Just keep your back flat, getting in through the hips there. Your back is flat. Your knees are stretched out and open. Use your elbows maybe to press the knees a little wider and to lift your heart up as you breathe for four more breaths. And then release the pose and sit down gently and elegantly as you reach your hands together at your heart. Let's close our eyes. And maybe you're smiling now. Bow your head. Be well, be joyful, and namaste. I hope you feel amazing now that your fascia is free. See you next time.